So this bar is owned by Mike. Put that on that. Mike is in debt. You ready? A million dollars. No. Mike's losing about 15000 a month. He's almost out of money. I don't know why all the round trays are downstairs. God. There's Jay. That's Mike's son. What can I get you on? I'm going to get a cherry bottle this out. That is the bartender right there whose name is Vanessa. I'm sorry. I listened, but I didn't listen. Cherry vodka sour. <laughs> Do we know how long Vanessa's been working there? Two weeks. So there's Joel. Joel leases out the food operation. Taco plant. And there's Joel Jr., his son. They run it as their own business. And the chef, I hear through the grapevine that their food is actually good. I mean, it looks like a pretty nice taco that he's eating there, yeah. right? Yeah. But how greasy are his hands when he's done? Yeah. When you go bowling, do you want grease on your fingers? No. The science of food in a bowling center is it shouldn't detract from your game. Yes. The food is mistargeted. So to keep all these lanes running, a lot of lanes in the back. I'm going to it up. Miles Sr. And Miles Jr. Miles Sr. has been fired nine times. He's been hired ten times. <laughs> okay, Miles, I need you in back. So there's Crystal. Crystal is Miles Sr.'s daughter. Tonight, one of their bartenders got in a car accident. She's fine, but she can't come to work tonight. Well, I'm a hairstylist by trade. So Miles says my daughter can bartend. She has a bartending license. Great. Hi, guys. How's everybody tonight? This is very much a family business, if you think about it. The beer's warm. Is it? Yeah, it is. We have three separate family dynamics working in here all at once. Oh, shit. Uh, it's been a while. Got it? Yeah. Here's what I know. I know this place has incredible turnover. Oh, shit. I know that the staff does not like Michael. I know the customers don't like Mike. I don't know why. But there's something about Mike. I'll be back for that. That's alienating employees, alienating customers. I'm concerned that Mike is just a dick. So for recon tonight, I brought in some younger local singles to see how the staff treats them. Oh! Boy, I'm going to get fired for that. <laughs> I won't tell him. I hear he's a real jerk. Don't like Mike. Can we do three lemon drop shots, please? Three I have to go get drops. lemons because there's oh, no okay. lemon. They have no lemon. None of this is good. Be right back. Come on up, Jeep. What does it take to get a drink around here? <laughs> Who's behind the bar right now with our bartender walking out of the bar? Look at the bottle of whiskey sitting on the bar. Can we just pour our own shots? <laughs> you could really help yourself. There's a the shot glass, there's the whiskey. We're good to go. I'm sorry. Yeah. You're welcome. So we finally got the lemon drops. I wonder what that tastes like. Find out in a second. Oh. Ooh, I wouldn't say that was successful. You're better. Can we order another thing? Can I do an old fashioned? Old fashioned? Yeah. They ordered three old fashions? <laughs> now what I was thinking. <laughs> Honestly, she was happy when she didn't have a drink. Do you mind if I get a water? Sir. Jesus. What? Can I get a water? Uh-oh. I'd be with you when I'm done, OK? If you're trying to get under my skin, you're getting there. Whoa. Shots fired. What? He asked for a water. They're the biggest spenders in a room, I think. Why would he disrespect them? Can we get a drink over here? What can I get you? Um, all, uh, three shots, please. Five dollars. OK. Talk about a bad night. How many shots have you had in the last hour? This man's going to argue with his customer. They're cut off. Uh-uh. What? No more. Can't serve you more than three shots. We've in only an hour. had one. You said you were cut off. You said, Why? Because Why I said so. How much do you weigh? Why does that matter? That's how much you can drink. Wow. It doesn't matter. 
And I can actually act, tell you that I'm not going to serve you anymore if you want to keep it up. And he's putting his hands I'm on him. so uncomfortable that he keeps touching him. I'm not serving you anymore. What did I do? You got a little bit smart. So to the know. wrong person. Well, yeah, but it's my place. Why are you the wrong person? I'm the owner. Why don't you leave? Whoa! You want me to show you how? I'll call the sheriff. I can't watch this. This is unbelievable. It's time to get under Mike's skin. Uh-oh. He's going to lay into him. Won't give us hey another drink until we get one. Okay. Hi. Hi. How many drinks have you had? Uh, two. Two? Are you intoxicated at all? No. No? No. Do they appear intoxicated to you? No. How would you feel if I put my hand on your shoulder like you did him and pretty much said, I don't like you, I don't want you here, because I said so? I guess I'd be upset. You'd be upset because the person who did that to you would be an ass, correct? Yes. Why were you an ass to him? I want to understand. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.